Welcome to Pass the Turn. This is another Magic the Gathering video in the new studio, which is great. Finally got back into my own property with my girlfriend and I finally have a room for Pass the Turn. Finally, got the old Great Wave art in the background. I've got board games either side of where I'm sat. Um, you know, it's just a great environment. Henry Cavill on the wall. Let me see if you can see that. Probably not. Uh, can you see Henry Cavill? Ronaldinho as well. So it's all going down in the studio and uh, it's good to be back in a cool, gamey, geeky environment doing videos for you guys. So like and subscribe if you like MTG Pokemon board games. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming going forward. But today it's just a quick video on regards to a deck that I'm building at the moment. It's pretty much all built currently. Um, there's a few additions that need to go in there and a few suggestions that I need to put in there. So please um, drop a comment in the section below if you think that there's certain things that I might be missing in this particular deck or how I could make it function better. Um, I'll be interested to know because I'm a rubbish deck builder. So definitely um, drop a comment as to what I might need or what might work well with Ishkanar. So Ishkanar is a legendary spider creature with delirium. That is the key word that we need to remember on this card. So she costs one green and four others and she comes in as a 3-5 spider creature with reach and she is classed as being in Golgari colours because of the fact that she has an activated ability which is black and six others. Uh, target opponent loses one life each spider you control. So again that is very much based on what you want to be doing in the deck. Just getting loads of spiders out and draining people's life and then making sure you hit delirium and constantly getting that delirium effect going over and over and over again uh, to get loads and loads of spiders, loads and loads of armies. And going wide with tokens is a good um, win con in this deck, but it's also about draining people out with loads of spiders in play. So. Again, I'm going to go on to Forge now. So Forge is a open source software which allows you to test your Magic the Gathering decks against AI opponents. Um, so uh, if you haven't checked out Forge, go and check out this video up here and uh, that will uh, that will explain how, how you use Forge. But I'm just going to go straight into it. So I've got Ishkanar here, uh, Commander Dex Ishkanar, and I'm just going to go against a random opponent. Uh, so random uh, Thalia, Heretic Cathar. So we'll start. Let's go. Okay, so we've got a forest, a twilight mire, and evolving wilds, uh, commander sphere, so we've got a bit of ramp, we've got uh, roaring primadox, which is good with uh, Ishkanar's ability, uh, Izoni, which is just thrown in there for lols, so she's quality, uh, but yeah, we'll keep this, see what happens. So, the opponent plays a lotus petal, to begin with, and then taps it to get an, uh, an anointer of champions, okay. and a skull clamp. Great first turn for them, we're just going to play a f twilight mire. That's it, pass. They're going to attack me for one, of course they are. I'm going to play a Swamp, and pass. They're going to attack me for one again, and then play a Brimaz. Oh, good. Play a Forest, and then I'm going to play a Command Sphere, I guess. That's all I can do. I'm going to sacrifice the Command Sphere to draw a card, so I can get an artifact in the graveyard for Delirium. And I draw an Obelisk of Erd, and pass a turn. He equips Skullclap to Brimaz, and they attack for... Okay, I'm going to lose this game by the looks of it. This is not a great start. I don't know why I chose to keep this hand. I got ridiculous power on the field with four lands. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'll use my Telemorphic Expanse. Sacrifice that to get a land in the grave to fuel Delirium. Get a Swamp out, and then I guess I can't do anything else. No. Wow, well, I'm going to take some heavy damage. I'm on 21 already. This is not good. I could play Ishkanar now, but I've only got two two things in the um, in the graveyard, so he's not going to activate Delirium. But I need something else to block. Uh, I've got five lands out, so I could play a Roaring Primadox, but he's going to re be returned to my hand at the bit beginning of the next turn. But let's just play him just for a bit of defence. They can run into it if they want. They are going to run into it, uh, so I'm going to block Bree Mouse. He's going to draw two. Wow, this is ridiculous. I need a board wipe. I do need a board wipe right now. Okay, so 
Obelisk of Erd is a card I probably don't need to use. I probably don't need this, and I probably don't need the Tree Folk Umbra either. Um, I probably don't need Izoni either, you know. I might have to take Izoni out, Obelisk of Erd out, and Tree Folk Umbra out because of... I need board wipes. I'm not getting anything. And these are, these are good, but they're very, very conditional, so... Probably something that could be uh, taken out. Um, so let's. Uh, I guess we'll play Izo. We can't. Well, Izoni's going to bring in one insect with her. It's not, not great, is it? Uh, Ishkanar's not going to activate yet. Uh, so let's play Arachnus Spinner. He's got a big butt. Comes in play tapped. Oh, because of Randabolisher. Oh, great. And I've been just been exiled. Oblivion Ring. And I've been shot killed. Wow! So that's rubbish. Rubbish start. Um, let's try again. Best of three, these games go in. Uh, so we got a forest, a land on our waist, a kiss of paradise. We've got two lands. Got a bit of ramp in our hand, so we'll probably just keep this and hope for a land within the first two turns. So let's play with land on our waist first. To a champion again. Play a forest, hoping for a land on my next drop. There it is, thank goodness. Um, so I could arachnus web someone at someone one of these. Gives the paradise into ramp. Gave me life. Sword of fire and ice. Great. Um, so this now gives me two mana of any one colour to my mana pool. So I think I'm going to have to death sprout one of these and get a land. Uh, add two mana of black. Yep. And then green and colourless to play death sprout on him. I get a land. I'm going to go grab a forest. Put it to play. Tapped. Sword of Fire and Ice. Oh, wow. It's not very nice. Not very nice at all. Play a Swamp again. Uh, so in my graveyard, I currently have one instant. Now, if I play a Sorcery, I can destroy a creature, I can destroy an enchantment, and I can destroy a land, and I can destroy an artifact. So this is great. Uh, cancel. So destroy target artifact, Sword of Fire and Ice, destroy target creature, probably the... It's... Probably... The Mother of Runes. Destroy the enchantment. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to select enchantment. I want to select artifact, creature, and land. So artifact, creature, land. And then I want to do green, green, I want to do black, black. Black, black, green, green, one. There we go. Board wipes a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Could play the Arachnus Spinner. Uh, could put New Horizons on another land. Um, yeah, I'll play Arachnus Spinner. So I'll add green, green. Green, one, two, three, four, five, six. Arachnus Spinner comes into play. Oh, path to Exile. Search my library, yes, I guess, for a swamp. Okay, right, what can I do? Sorcery and instant in the grave. Um, Ikrishadiki. Comes to play tap. It's so rubbish. It really is rubbish. Um, green. Arachnus web. That lady. And then I've got one, two, three, four. So I might as well pay a icon accessory, choosing Spider, of course. Uh, and then attack, and then gain seven life. Grim Blackwoods, constantly play tapped. Wow, that's so rubbish. It really is. Um, I guess I could shoot her for something, and then chuck something in the grave that I need in there. So I'll maybe chuck a land in the grave. And then shoot up something that I need. What do I need right now? I need a board wipe. That's what I need. So I need to, uh, I need to grab Gaze of Granite and Forest. And then select a card to go to my hand. I'll select Gaze of Granite and then the land will go to the grave. And then I can't do anything right now. So I might as well attack. Gain seven life. 
Oblivion rings, might equal Shadiki. Great. This goes back to my turn. Oh, I could. Uh, I, need to, I need to gaze of granite, really. So I need to gaze of granite for. One, two, three. Yeah, Gaze of Granite for three. This will also destroy my icon and my enchantment, which is great, because that will activate Delirium. Ah. Goodbye. And I get my Equal Shadiki back, which is fantastic. So I can attack and I can't lose my, my trash. Thalia again. Here she comes. Temple of Milady, Stry 1. Death Reap, whenever a creature, when at the beginning of each end set of creature dies this turn, you may draw a card. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that because I've got Delirium now, so card draw is, is, is pretty good. Then I'm going to play Ishkanar, I think. Finally, get Delirium. The spiders come in, and then I might as well attack with Equal Shadiki. Gain some life. The great thing about Equal Shadiki is that, especially with spiders, spiders have massive toughness, so Equal Shadiki is going to allow me to gain a lot of life if spiders get unblocked. like they will do in a moment. So I'm going to play Erratic Portal first. This is great because it allows me to bounce Ishkanar to my hand and then play her again and get the spiders over and over again. Not as good as Conjurer's Closet, which is in the deck, but um, so I'll play that. Then I'm going to return Ishkanar to my hand. I'm not going to pay one, obviously. Return to Command Zone instead. No, that'll go back to my hand. And then I'm going to play Maelstrom Pulse on the... Um, Creature and then attack and gain a load of life because of Ishkanar. There we go, look. Bang, 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 bang. 27 life. Destroy Erratic Portal. Play a Forest. I might as well play Ishkanar again. Comes in with Delirium. Play Death Rig Ritual also. Um, and yeah, attack again, I guess. Get loads of life. Got all that life gain. Got all that life gain. Back on 40 already. Equal Shadiki is great life gain for the deck. Um, what do we do now? I could sacrifice a spider, draw a card off of this. Well, it's not going to draw me a card right now, though, is it? Uh, might as well attack for everything, because he's not going to be able to kill anything I've got there, apart from a spider. Getting a load of life yet again. Look at all this life gain. Bang, 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 bang. Up to 62. Draw a card. Put the Death Reap Ritual. Yes, I will. They're tutoring for Batter Skull. We're bringing the Batter Skull to a germ. Then I'm going to play Command Tower. Comes to play Tapped, obviously, because it's rubbish. Um, sat here, Wayfinder, New Horizons. I might as well just New Horizons my forest. Uh, put it on my Equal Shadiki. And then attack. Game has a life. Draw a card because it's been backwards. My turn, I attack with everything, he loses. Oh no, he doesn't, he's still alive. Okay, he's still alive. Uh, what do I want to do now? Right. Do I just. Five life and attack. Five life. Can I activate it again? No. It's a card, it's a death week ritual. Command zone instead. Yes. But we make the old. Play him again. Get a delirium effect. Drain him for I can't drain him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can drain him. No, I need seven. Damn it! I might as well just keep attacking. Ah! What's no point, is there? Because they haven't got Equal Shadiki anymore. Uh, draw a card. Roaring Primadox. That is what I need to create loads of spiders. That's great. Play a Roaring Primadox. Uh, might as well let him lose some life my spiders and then I will pass oh what's going on here he's going to destroy everything I think I don't know what's going on uh, yeah whatever return a creature to, to my hand uh, return the primadox I guess to my hand play a swarm yard all oh, this mana that I can't do anything with play Ishkanar again 
comes in with more spiders. Can I activate it? No, I can't. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't do it. Damn it. Play Nick's Weaver instead. Which will mill me. And then Blue Marsh comes to play Tapped. Um, lose one life, each spider I control. Five life, lost. If I do it again, yeah, five life, lost. And then I win, I think, because he can only block four, four out of five. Oh, how did he do that? I don't know. Yes, I'll have to play Definitely Ritual. Oh, come on now. Where is the win? Where is the win? Five life, come on now. Draw a card, bring bring my hand size down. I'll just go the swamp and I'm alone. Why not? Oh, it's just got it's got lifelink, isn't it? Why is he gaining life from it? I don't understand. The vigilance and lifelink. Ah. Oh, jokes. Um I need to create more spiders, but I don't know how. Drawing five blocks. Guess he recluse. Silk Clash Spider. Can't surprise that. No. Um, okay, Alpha Strike. I'm going to bounce my Ishkanar to my hand. No, go back to my hand. Play Wooden Cemetery. Play Ishkanar again. Get more spiders. Uh, and then make him lose life for each spider I control. Loses seven life. Just hold on now. And he's lost. I'm going to return Ishkanar again to my hand. No. Back to my hand. Play him again. Comes in with spiders. Drain him out. He's dead. One all. Okay. One all. Difficult playing white because they're quite big armies. Exiling things. Spot removal. With a one-on-one -on -one game, it's quite difficult playing white. But um, let's try again. One out, one all. Um, it's hard. It's hard to know what sort of cards to put in this deck because you want to have delirium, so you need to have those cards that ditch cards in the graveyard for you uh, early game. But then late game, like mulch and satyr, wayfinder, grapple with the past, etc., are absolutely useless. So it's difficult to understand what I need in here. Do I need those artifacts that ramp my team? Uh, that, that give the team, you know, plus two, plus two, Obelisk of Erg, Coat of Arms. Do I need that in here? Or am I just going wide with loads of tokens? It's hard to decide, so I need your help. But here we go. One all. Can I get the victory against the mono white Briaz deck? I think it's Briaz I'm playing anyway. Um, no, it's not. It's Thalia. Um, okay, right, so um, do I want to keep my hand? I've got one, two, three, four lands. Talisman, Deadly Recluse, that sounds like a good hand, so I'll keep that. Uh, let's do a Bloomy Marsh, because that comes into play untapped. And then follow that up with, an, with a Solvent, with Universal Solvent, which will destroy permanent, which is great. Uh, an Armourer comes out, and then I'm going to play a Swamp, which will allow me to play a Deadly Recluse, which is great defence. Oblivion Ring, of course. Yeah, he's going to get rid of the Dead of Recluse. Oblivion Egg! Oblivion Egg. Right, I'm going to play uh, Talisman of Indulgence. Um, and that's... Play my land, crack my land, go get a forest. And then pass, I guess. Uh, Sword of Fire and Ice, great. Okay, then I'm going to play Temple of Malady. That's been described. Do I want a Rock Widow pack right now? Probably not. I'll put that to the bottom. Uh, and then I play a Ketting Recluse. Sword of Fire and Ice. I can block it though. I can kill it. And I will do that. Seems like a good trade. Right. Play an Unclaimed Territory, naming Spider as my creature type. I've got a land and a creature in the graveyard at the moment, so um, I can't crack off the Universal Solvent yet. 
I can return to Carpal Graver to my hand. Um, oh, I can't do anything. I can play Ishkanar, but the Delirium won't go off, so there's, no much, there's not much point, but I need the defense. I'm play Ishkanar, why not? Play Ishkanar just for the defense sake. Bratis Skull didn't make a difference. Part did, he did attack, that's great. Now I'm going to play um, six lands in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this. So I can crack this off to destroy target permanent, which will then get an artifact in my grave. So I'm going to destroy the Oblivion Ring, which is holding back my Deadly Recluse. Get my Deadly Recluse back. Cool, okay. That's fine. Fire and Ice, great. To Battle Skull. Have to block that. He brings out his commander. Underrealm Lich, this will help me tutor for what I need. Great. Comes to play tapped because of. Ah! Because of Thalia. Hate it. Hate it. Tapping that to Thalia, which is ridiculous. Just let it go through. Seven command damage. But what do I want? I want Condra's Closet, I think. Yeah, and then rest goes into the grave. So I've got a swamp, I've got a sorcery, I've got a creature, I've got a land. And an artifact, yeah, so I've got Delirium. So if I play Conjurer's Closet, I'm going to get spiders every turn now. Which seems good. First glance. We'll see. Flicker, the Ishkanar. Uh, usability, not into the command zone. Come back in, generate spiders. They're taps there, unfortunately. Thalia's going to tap me again, so I'm going to have to block the Run the Round Lich. Have to, he's going to have to die. Um, Cultural Souls is not bad. Arachnogenesis. Oh, what can I do here? Not much I can do. I'm going to play Cauldron of Souls, which will say won't save my spiders because they'll come. They can't really. When it dies, if it had no minus one minus one it returns to battlefield and returns to control. How does that work with tokens then? Can you persist a token or not? Because if not, Cauldron of Souls is pretty useless. sure how that works, but um, I'm going to have to Arachnogenesis next turn just to... Yeah, okay, let's pass. Flicker Ishkanar. Yes, no. Comes back in, generate spiders. They're attacking with 1, 2, 3, 4, so this would be a great time to play Arachnogenesis. Create more spiders. No damage goes through, which is great. Play a Swarm Yard, which is awesome. And now I can drain my opponent for 11, 11 damage. 11 drain. 11 life, just like that, lost, which is great. And then I'm going to Flicker Ishkanar. Condra's Closet is really the golden pig of the deck, to quote um, Commander's Quarters. Yes, uh, no... Comes into play again with loads more. Is he going to attack? Oh, yes, he is. I can stop some of them. Uh, so I can stop that one. I can stop that one, I think. This one. And this one needs to be stopped. I was going to take some serious commander damage. Okay, right. Haze of Pollen, that will prevent another combat, which is good. Let's play the Foul Orchard, and then he's going to lose some more life. I shouldn't have done that, because I needed the Haze of Pollen. Yes, no, comes back in, three spiders extra, still save his gift, sword of feast and famine, sword of feast and famine, sword of feast and famine, ah, oh, my goodness me, ah, oh, this is ridiculous, Preston's commander, just read it to you, double strike, first strike, lifelink, protection from red, protection from blue, protection from black, protection from green, vigilance, ah, oh, I think I'm dead, no, but I've discarded a card. Discard a card Souls. And taps all lands he controls and kills me! So Ishkanar lost against um, Thalia. 
Heretic Cathar. Um, so let me just go through the deck list very, very quickly of what Ishkanar's got in it so you can see. Uh, and then you can drop a comment if you think certain things could be taken out. Um, but it's just a deck that I like to play um, just to get those loads of spiders out. But every time I build it, it's just like, do I really want this? You know? It, it might it might go in a yeah I'm, I'm building Yarok the desecrated soon and I think he might go in there Ishkanar might go in there but we'll see but you know it, it's pretty janky it's not a competitive level deck at all is it Ishkanar but um, but yeah here's the deck list um, I'll go through it one by one and uh, you can then add your suggestions what you think will be worth taking out or putting in or vice versa. So we got a Satie Wayfinder. When he enters the battlefield, reveal top four cards of your library. You may put a land from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. So again, it fuels Delirium. Deadly Recluse is just a 1-2 reach death touch spider. Eternal Witness, get something back to my hand. Uh, Nyx Weaver, um, mills myself at the start of my turn. Then I can also exile Nyx Weaver to return type card from graveyard to my hand. Roaring Primadox is just a thing that allows me to bounce Ishkanar every turn and then play it again. Kessie Recluse is just an upgrade of Deadly Recluse. Rock Widow Pack is a spider with reach that allows me to exile a card, a creature card from my graveyard to create a 1-2 green spider token with reach. Then each opponent loses life for each spider you control. So that's basically like an Ishkanar trigger on a stick there, which you can use if you've got a good spider army out, which is lovely. Silk Clash Spider is a card that just destroys flyers, basically. All flyers, that is, as well. Underrealm Lich is a... Uh, a tutor and a mill on a stick and it allows me to get the cards that I need coming up so that's that's irreplaceable and I think that will be taken out Equal Shadiki as you saw in the first game or the second game was gaining me loads and loads of life because spiders have big asses and you're gaining life off the ass basically which is great um, then we got Arachnus Spinner which is a 5-7 big butt spider with reach and then you can tap an untapped spider you control to search your graveyard or library for Arachnus web and web up a, a problematic small dude basically. Izoni, not much synergy in the deck, um, it's 2-3 uh, elf shaman legendary creature which allows me to sack another creature to draw life uh, and gain one life, or draw life, gain a life and draw a card and then when he enters the battlefield he get you get one um, one one black and green insect creature tokens for each creature card in your graveyard. So, I mean, Izoni hasn't really popped off, so she might have to come out. Uh, I just like the idea of her being in there because it's insects and stuff, but potentially not. Potentially that'll have to come out because that's more about creatures being in the grave to make her bring in loads of creatures with her. And there's not really many creatures in the grave because it's only one of each thing that I need. So I think Izoni might have to come out. Jungle Weaver is just a big spider with reach that allows me to I can just chuck it in the grave with cycling to draw a card which is uh, cycling stuff is quite good in the deck so you've got a universal solvent which sacrifices itself to fuel delirium and destroy target permanent spider umbra um, just gives a creature plus one plus one reach and totem armor so it just gives them an extra life basically that could potentially come out the umbras could potentially come out although they are pet cards of mine um, but yeah they could come out potentially because they're not really doing much Golgari Signet, Perpetual Timepiece. Uh, so Golgari Signet, obviously you know what that does. Perpetual Timepiece, tap to put the two, top two cards of your library into your graveyard, then you can exile it and shove away a number of time cards back into your library. So again, that fuels Delirium, and then you can get certain cards back in if you want to shoot them for them later. Uh, another Mana Rock, Talisman of Resilience. Illusionist Bracelet allows me to pop off Ishkanar's ability twice if it's equipped to her. Assault Formation, which is great because it allows all my spiders to do damage up to their toughness. Uh, grapple with the past, uh, that allows me to just chuck stuff in the graveyard and return stuff to my hand. Haze of Pollen is a damage deterrent, so it's just to get another stall tactic. Mulch is getting stuff in the graveyard and then returning a land uh, to my hand. Uh, Revive is return type green card from graveyard to my hand. Rest Rites of Spring is awesome for Delirium. Discard a number of cards from your hand, then search library for that many basic lands, reveal those cards, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. So that's great at the start of the game, because you can just ditch everything you need to fuel your delirium, so that's pretty good. Sign in Blood, uh, again, just a little bit of card draw. Um, treasured Find, return type card from graveyard to my hand. 
Uh, command Sphere, another Mana Rock, which allows to draw a card and sacrifice it, fueling Delirium. Again, sacrifice Golgari, lock it, add black or red, uh, draw two cards, sacrifice it, chuck it in the grave. Icon of Incestry, uh, gives spiders plus one, plus one, basically. And then I can look at the top three cards in my library, reveal a spider and put it into my hand. That could potentially go out because it's only giving plus one, plus one, and I'm not really looking for spiders in the deck um, late game, so that could probably come out. Bestry, uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, Stry 1, gives me a bit of insight. Whenever I cast a creature spell, pay that, if, pay your forest if I do really draw a card, which is good. Pernicious Deed is awesome because you can sacrifice it and destroy each artifact creature on enchantment. So it's a board wipe waiting to happen, but also fuels your delirium because of its an enchantment ability. Arachnus Web, again, another card that allows you to get rid of, um, or pseudo get rid of, a uh, mana dork or something that's pestering you, but uh, an eggy activated ability. And again, when the creature becomes four or greater power, you can just it, the Ratless Web will fall to the graveyard. So again, fuel delirium. Gift of Paradise and New Horizons are just ramp spells that are enchantments, basically. So if I manage to mill one of these um, ramp spells, it will class as an enchantment going in rather than a, like an instant or sorcery, because ramp spells are normally like your your Kadama's reaches and nature's laws and what have you. Uh, Tree Folk Umbra, again, another totem armor card, which is a bit of pet card of mine, so again, that could potentially come out. Arachnogenesis is in there because it deters loads of damage and also creates loads of spiders, so that's, that's pretty much a given. Beast Within, term, uh, permanent removal, uh, instant speed, which is great. Journey to Eternity is good because it protects your creature, then brings that creature back to the battlefield, then transforms it, and then turns into a land which can bring back creatures from the uh, from the graveyard to the battlefield, which is good. Fire Wanderings is a ramp spell that allows me to get a basic land, but if I have Threshold, which I do a lot of the time because I'm milling myself, it will get three basic lands instead, which is good. Um, Gaze of Granite, awesome board wipe. Destroys all permanents uh, with converted mana cost X or less, depending on how much you pump into it. Maelstrom Pulse is great for removing a uh, single target or a whole bunch of token armies. Recollect, simply return target card from graveyard to my hand. Uh, Door of Destinies, which is great. If I'm casting a lot of spider cards, they're going to ramp those spiders again and again and again and again. Very, very good. Um, Erratic Portal, great for Ishkanar. Bounce. Death Reap Ritual, good for creature dying, drawing cards. Death Sprout, destroy type creature, and then get, grab a land. It's Battlefield tapped. Ancient Craving, draw three cards, lose three life. Explosive Vegetation, harmonize, draw three cards. Uh, and then we got Cauldron of Souls, which again gives all my creatures persist until end of turn, which is good in the sense that if Ishkanar was to die, I can bring Ishkanar back and they get the end of the battlefield trigger again. But it won't save tokens, I don't think, so that might have to come out. Coat of Arms is good if you've got. Ooh, Pardon me. If you've got a load of spiders out, you can use that to pump the whole team by a massive amount. So that's really, really good. Conjurer's Closet, a uh, great card for bouncing Ishkanar and getting more spiders. Vanquish's Banner uh, is good because it gives uh, all spiders plus one, plus one. And whenever I cast a spider, I draw a card. So that sort of like Icon of Ancestry, but better because if you play a spider, you draw a card, which is more value. Uh, Regenesis, uh, I've never used this in a game. So this might have to come out. Um, return up to two target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. That'll probably have to come out. Vraska the Unseen, just great for target removal and uh, non-land permanents um, over and over again. So, and again, it's just a bit of a deterrent. If people are coming at me, they can decide to go at Vraska instead, etc. Final Parting is great for a tutor and chucking something in your graveyard for your Delirium. Razakus right again, exactly the same thing. You can chuck the sorcery in the graveyard for its cycling, or you can go and search for something. Uh, Obelisk of Erd uh, allows you to have creatures of the chosen type, get plus two, plus two while it's out. Deadbridge Chant, great card for milling yourself to fuel Delirium, and as well as that, a random card comes back onto the battlefield if it's a creature card every turn. Uh, if not, it goes back into your hand, so a great way to fuel your hand back up. Another Planeswalker, Vraska Relic Seeker, uh, again, great target removal, great token generation for those pirates, and again, the ultimate has won me a game before um, out of just... Utter horrible. Target player life's total becomes one. That's horrendous. Uh, then we've got Casualties of War, which is again a selective decimate, basically. Destroy one or more. Artifact creature enchantment land, Planeswalker. And then we've got the land base. Uh, Blooming Marsh, Command Tower, Evolving Wilds, uh, Foul Orchard, Golgari, Gilgate, Grim Blackwoods, Hissing Quagmire, Lanawar Waste, Mystifying Maze, Swarm Yard, uh, Tainted Wood, Temple of Milady, Terramorphic Expanse, Twilight Mire, Woodland Cemetery, Myriad... Uh, 
warped landscape and unclaimed territory. And then we got uh, some swamps and some forests in there as well. So that was the Ishkanar deck. As you can see, it lost against Thalia. Uh, but um, if you've got any suggestions or any improvements or anything that you think I don't need in here or what I do need in here, I'll be very, very interested to know. Because I love spiders. Well, I don't really. Uh, but I love Spider Tribal and Magic the Gathering. And um, it's just a deck I like playing all the time. Uh, and uh, I just want to improve it. It sometimes can go really, really well. Other times it's, um, it's clunky. And uh, if you think of any suggestions, then by all means, drop a comment and uh, I'll be glad to check out your suggestions. But please like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have more content coming soon from board games to more Magic the Gathering content like this. Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, all sorts of different things are going to be coming soon now that we have the studio in effect. So we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.